We're here today at the Western Museum, which is an invaluable resource to our town and its history. The building was moved to its curly, current location in the early 1900s from the town column after serving over a century as a public school. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the sign and video at the Old Western Academy Foundation. Henry Otis Keyes was the one who bought this building and brought it to this location, which was the location of his blacksmith and harness shop. In 1911, he converted it to a two-family home. The two main jobs of the fire station were the hose company and the ladder company. The hose company was responsible for water distribution, and the ladder company was responsible for rescue, overhauling, and ventilation. The town purchased the building in 1916 and turned it into the Edward M. Abbott Fire Company. The building gained three large bay doors, a side entrance, and a reinforced floor. In 1974, the fire station here closed. Soon after, the Westward Historical Society oversaw the restoration of the building to be used as a museum for the town. Neshoba Valley Technical High School students also aided with restorations of the building. The building was de dedicated in 1976 and was set to open in 1982. However, a disaster literally struck when lightning struck the cupola, and then the building officially opened in 1983. The museum is open on Sundays from 2 to 4, and the Historical Society's office is open from 9 to 1 on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. The town of Westford is lucky to have such a historical and valuable building available to visitors. The Historical Society and the Historical Commission work hard to keep the building and its contents intact for future generations.